now just me running. Yeah. Shnoutra, ahure, Mazda, Ashem, Vohu, three. Pravarane Mazdayasno Zarathushtrish Vidaevo Ahura Kaesho Havane Ashaune Ashahe Ratwe Yasnaicha Vamaicha Shnautraicha Prasasta Yaicha Savangay Savangay Visiaicha, Ashaune, Ashahe, Ratve, Yasnaicha, Bamaicha, Shnautraicha, Prasasta Yecha. Can I keep going? Yes, yes, please. Mitrahe, Vauru, Gau Yoi Toish, Azangro, Gau Shahe, Bae Vare Chashman Chashmano Okto Namano Yazatahe Ramacha Ramano Vastrahe Shnautra Yasnaicha Vamaicha Shnautraicha Rasasta Yecha Yatha Ahu Vairyo Zaota Fra Me Mrute Atha Ratush Ashat Chit Acha Fra Ashava Vidvao Mrautu Ahurem Mazdam Ashavanem Ashahe Ratum Yazamaide Okay, stop. Mayor Kotwal? Is Mayor Kotwal around? No. Sir, I don't think so. Uh, she okay. is in the US. Na? Yasmin Nilavya? Yasmin Nilavya. Na? Aj, Aj. Aj. Yasmin, please continue reading. And I want Aj. everyone's camera on. Please don't hide yourselves. Otherwise, I'll call everyone at the classroom. Ha? I don't want any hidden faces. Please keep your audio, uh, video on all the time. Zaratush Param Ashavanem Ashahe Pratum Yazamede Zaratushra Rahe Ashauno Ravashim Yazamede Ame Amahe uh, spent them. Ame, what is it? Nay, nay, nay. Which is the first word? Ame. Ame she. Sorry, Ame she. Ame she. Spente. Ashaw nam. Aji. Yazamayde. Bas, bas, bas. That's it. Now uh, we start with the grammar of this first paragraph. Uh, the beginning up to Vidva uh, Umrotu is only for academic interest. It is not part of the exam portion. What uh, Jasmine Anti started reading with up to Vidva Umrotu is not covered as part of the curriculum. It is just for academic interest. And uh, the first paragraph that we start off is from Aurem Mazdam. I think, uh, who is this Galaxy M31, please? Can we have your face? Can we know who you are? Galaxy M31. Sir, I'm Nazneen on the line. I'm in pain, sir. Actually, I'm going to call you. Keep your video on. Camera on. Sir, I won't be able to, sir. I promise next time I will. Please, sorry, sir. Pirdosh Gandevia also, I think, just the picture appears. Shiraz Dodi, I can't see anything except a room. Empty room. Each one, I think, each one of you know what gays are, na? What is a gay? Everyone knows? Or uh, anyone not familiar? Hello? Shailesh? Would you yes, be sir. familiar with what a gay is, Shailesh? Yes, sir. Uh, I tried to read some of the notes uh, sent by you last night. Ah, and uh, gays, ah, uh, they are basically uh, five periods uh, throughout the day in which uh, the ah, rituals ah, are performed. 
okay. if i am correct if i am correct uh, so basically our day is uh, our day for a zoroastrian is divided in two five zones mm -hmm. we can say the day starts with havan ke for us and uh, unlike um, people having the current trend of wishing everyone at 12 midnight happy birthday uh, our 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 zoroastrian day may start at about 5:45 Five forty-five, forty-five. That is the time of we starting our havan game. Hello. Hello. Haji, bolo Shiraz. Sir, tomorrow. Watch the pay. No, tomorrow video. Me not see. Dekha to. Flash uh, from five forty in the morning. Usually the the cut off time what we keep is five forty in the morning. While uh, the havan game actual start of havan game depends on the time of sunrise, and it may vary from season to season. Say in winter, the sunrise may start a little later. so that is when the havan ge may start but for all ritual purpose for the priest at various uh, fire temples to start their performance of prayers we keep 5:40 as the cut off time 5:40 as the cut off time uh, to start our havan ge and it will last till about 12:40 and 12:40 afternoon the next ge rapid one ge will start the name of the ge is rapid one that will last till 3:40 pm 3:40 p.m. at the third day, third part of the day, Ujiran day starts, uh, which will last till sunset. So the fourth day precisely starts around the, the time of after the sunset, I will shoot them day, and then midnight, 12:40 midnight is the time when Ushahin day starts. Okay, that is how the day is divided. So we are going to touch upon Havan day. Sorry, Cyrus, sir. Can do? Can I ask you a question? Ah, ji, bolo. Why did you say that five forty is the cut off time? What What do you mean by that? We We need to keep a certain cut off time, especially. Uh, I tell you a classic example of uh, when someone passes away midnight, and when we have to determine whether it is. Binay, for if you are, if you want to talk them something, you have to unmute yourself. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. I was saying uh, that Pachvi uh, Ratno Banavanu Thai Uthamnu Thai. That is called as Choram, and that is paid at five forty. That's well, the time. I'll come to that. Okay, I'll come to that. I'll come to that. Sorry. Okay. The uh, uh, answer put in by Jasmine is uh, why five forty is the cut off time. So classic example is someone passes away midnight, and we want to determine exactly whether it's we have to consider it as the first day or the second day for and determine the roj. So we take five forty as the cut off time. If anyone has passed away before five forty, five thirty, five thirty five, also we take it as the first day, and then five forty onwards becomes the second day. So that is okay. why we have generalized. At the same time, even for Mukta days, Mukta day prayers, when there are so many prayers to be performed, we cannot depend on starting our prayer at six thirty-seven in the morning. Hence, as a generalized rule, we keep five forty. But it did not mean that at five forty everyone will start doing the Havan ke boy at different Agiari Akashvira. That will depend on the time of the sunrise in the different time zones. And, okay. Thank uh, you. Binay, for I think your question is something like charam. So yes, uh, the fourth day prayer also utamna. The cut off time we take is five forty, and that is when we start doing the havan ge for the fourth day prayer. Correct. Correct. Thank you. So that's you. that's a brief about the ge. We have given you a lot of short notes uh, as regards the overall ge and uh, the summary of havan ge. So that could be a kind of a question, ten ten mark question, which is more or less repeated in every question paper. So we'll not dwell much on that. Uh, let's start with grammatical analysis of uh, the first paragraph. Um, very easy, actually. Havan ke is not all too difficult. More or less, the words get repeated. So uh, let's start, and then I'll give you some hint answers also. Uh, over to you again, Yasmin. Start reading the grammatical part. Does everyone have a book for a Havan ke? This a uh, grammatical. Each one of you have it. So I don't it? have a book with me, the printed version. Okay. I don't, have, but I'm referring it to on the phone. So okay. Okay. Anyone else? I do have. Mr. Gandevia, Jasmine Merchant, Zahan Jawdewala, please keep your cameras on. I need not. I think Fildos. I think Fildos Gandevia had a doctor's appointment. Yeah. Okay. Saying. Fine. 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 But rest of the stars, Shiraz. Who is this Shiraz? I can't see. That 
problem. This is part. I think it's. Part. So John, if you don't have, why is it that you don't have? Did I send to you, or you don't have the portion? I I also don't have it, sir. And it, Havan sir? Ge, you have you have sent emails, but you have given Havan Ge, Uzrin Ge, Havan Ge. You have not given. So I've got the old uh, Avastha Havan Ge, which uh, Shirin Aunty had shared. And where's the grammar part? That is the three pages with propitiation propitiation of uh, Aura Mazda page. Yeah, yeah, Aunty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did That's send to everyone who whoever has sent the share their email address. I have sent a full portion to everyone. Yes, sir. We've all got them. We've got them, sir. Uh -huh. Sir, there is a 19 pages uh, word file. Uh, the same are you talking about? How are they grammatical? Okay, I'll show share screen for the benefit uh -huh. of those who do not have it. This oh. is just uh, no, okay, okay, sir. yeah. Uh, okay, so first word is missing before instrumental. It, what is the word? The word is snotra. So here it has given. They have given us uh, the word uh, analysis of only first three words: shnotra, aure, and mazlao. And then we have start. We are starting with directly paragraph one. So instrumental singular ni pella preceding instrumental. There is the word. The word is shnotra, which is not typed. So what is shnotra? Shnotra is instrumental singular of the same form shnotra. That is how we can put it. Read. Continue reading. Uh, instrumental singular of shnotra with appreciation, yeah. which is derived from uh, always say root derived from root. From the root, root sign is given, so you have to say derived from root shnu. 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 Meaning of root is shnu. Yeah. To please to appreciate to Ajay. appease. Yeah. To na form is shnau. Snow and okay. tra is the noun suffix. Correct. You understood. I think uh, there were various roots which uh, you have studied in grammar first year. Root sna to bed. Root snu to propitiate. Root da to create. Root da to give. So all these now you will put to practice. And uh, in certain cases the root na uh, you have to gunet the root or you have to. Change the root to vritti form or guna form, and then add certain suffix onto it, so that it becomes a meaningful word. And then we have to categorize them whether it is a noun or it is taken as a verb or an adjective. So here, thra is the noun suffix added to snu, and because it is instrumental, instrumental case must have been vit not or by instrumental singular in declension will be vit or by. And snoutra becomes a uh, noun which is called pleasure or propitiation. So, with propitiation is the meaning of the word. With propitiation, snoutra no matlab che. With propitiation, move on to the next word, please. Ahura hai. Ahura hai. Genitive singular of ahura, proper noun, part of the highest divine being of the rest. The word ahura is derived from aha, root aha, to be, Correct. to exist. Who and ra are noun suffixes. Okay. Literally, the word means lord of life, existence of ahura. Okay. Uh, if you recall my first uh, session last week, we had run through the the quick way of remembering uh, the cases. So I had mentioned he. Whenever it is he ending, it will be genitive singular. If you recall, okay. Yes. Um, now here, if you open the first year grammar book, always keep your grammar book alongside uh, whenever you sit for study or whenever you come for the class because it is very helpful. If you see, if you see the noun part, noun suffix part in the grammar book. If there is a mention in the root a uh, for aura. There is a mention that there could be case of primary noun suffix and secondary noun suffix. So aura is a classic example when you have a primary noun suffix which is u, and onto okay. that a secondary noun suffix ra is added. So your prime uh, your your root becomes a to be, a to exist, and then over it you have u and ra added. So it becomes aura. Meaning of the word could be Lord of Life or Lord of Existence. Here they have just written comma in existence. It is Lord of Life or Lord of Existence. That's the correction you have to make. Huh? Aurama, Lord of Life or Lord of Existence. 
and in the simplest way you can say of aura genitive case che to of it becomes of so aura he will become of aura now had it been aurai so uh, binaifer can you tell me had it been aurai what could be uh, the have been the meaning had been had it been aurai binaifer is ha ji hu ji hu so bolate hai बोला से फिनिश करो पीलियर वर्ड from from and the 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 knowledge. knowledge. Sorry, sorry. So compound word छे must to be great root must to be great great and da knowledge da means knowledge from root da to no da da to create da to give there are couple of uh, meanings for root da that is why we say dada rogram sir the creator dada da to give also da to create also da to know also no also any any other word any other root uh, you are familiar with for root to know root something to know kayo root avse what have you he- heard with with he- he- who said that socialish very daman good root daman with to know root with to know perfect daman means creation daman creation. becomes creation ha huh? because da is your root and man is the suffix so it is creation okay to shnaotra ure masda meaning will become with propitiation of auram mazda so i start all my prayers all my activities with propitiation of auram mazda oh, so these are the starting words every time every time you begin any prayer by and large you will start with shnaotra auram mazda as the beginning line okay um let's move to para 1 who will volunteer reading uh, this auram mazda walo i can do that kavash ah, ji chalo ji start karo please so auram नेक्स्ट because uh, the formation remains the same only sure. the case has changed if you recall the way yes. i asked you aurai masdai yes. same way this is aurem yes. and i had explained to you last uh, week anything ending with m by and large will be accusative, accusative singular ha huh? so yeah. this is accusative singular very easy to remember aurem masda so it is talking of same aura unto aura to aura if it is accusative case it will be T O two, नहीं तो U N T O, unto aura, unto aura mazda. The same way mazda also will follow the same pattern. Accusative right. singular of mazda, proper noun, and then the same thing will remain. Remain. Okay. Move on to the third verse, sir. Yeah. Uh, Asha Asha one name. Accusative accusative singular of Asha one. Asha one. Asha one. Righteous. Asha one is the adjectival suffix added to. Ajay. Asha now, okay. Asha is derived from the root a, which means to go to move root on the right. Root, 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 root,
Rurikar. Which means to go to move on the right path. Correct. And and the is the noun suffix okay. to the righteous. So okay. asha vanam is ar plus the plus one plus ma. Okay. Um. So just to tell you more about that Muslim word, Muslim ma root is maj, ma ane za. So that is how in Jasamaya Mangya Mazda you say Majishtacha, Vahishtacha, Sraishtacha. So my my religion is greatest, best, excellent. So Maj Majno Ishta is added. So what is Ishta? What is Ishta? Best. Best. Sir. Superlative degree. Ah, superlative degree. Very good, my dear. Ishta is the termination of superlative degree. Okay. And now here, now how can Asha come from R and T. Can anyone tell me? Consonantal sandhi. Very good. Consonantal sandhi. R first word ending with R. Second word beginning with T. R plus T will move to Sha. Very good. Sandhi. So R plus T becomes Asha. So Asha means Asha is noun form and Asha one is adjective form. Okay. Keep in mind. Asha khaliya hoy to. Asha means holiness. Asha means holiness, and Asha one means holy. Holy or righteous we use interchangeably. So okay, Asha one am thay yovar. Next move to next word. Asha hai. Asha hai. Genital singular of Asha again righteous. Yes, everything else is same. Is so same. everything else is same as previous word. So we'll we'll uh, skip it. Ash, uh, only thing is he are you he are you atle genitive singular tha you yeah. correct now same way genitive plural karvan hote for the same word it will become genitive plural suit as a very familiar word i think asha naam very good navil asha naam asha naam mangoi surao spentao the asha naam will become naam ending plural tha you genitive plural okay uh, so asha he thai gayo next move to next word ratum Ratum, accusative singular of Ratu, Ajay. Lord, which is Lord Master. Lord or Master. Generally, Meaning of the word Ratu itle. Ahu ne Ratu apne hi bol liye. Ratu means Lord or Master. Okay. Agal chalo. Generally used as a noun, name Ajay. of a group of divine beings presiding Ajay. over time and seasons to the Lord. Okay. Any Ratum. other familiar word which clicks your mind? Season related. रूटू आपने कहा है ना रूटू रूटू हाँ रूटू रूटू सो समथिंग सर बिल्कुल आवाज नहीं आ रहा था तमारो सर कौन लोग कौन वाकी रही हो एडम यू लॉग आउट एंड लॉग इन आई थिंक दैट इज़ द ओनली वे आउट देयर इज़ नो अदर वे आई कैन हेल्प यू जस्ट वाज़ जस्ट टेबल टू जॉइन यू सर थैंक यू जस्ट जॉइन कीप आत्मान टर्मिनेशन मीटो ए हेते मैदे दुए अंते आत्मा ने पदनो ए हेते ने मैदे दुए अंते तो फर्स्ट पर्सन प्लूरल इज मैदे तो यजम मैदे मीन व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड यजम मैदे वी वेनरेट ओके सो नाउ वी वेनरेट इफ यू टेक ऑल दिस वर्ड्स टुगेदर एंड मेक अ वन मीनिंगफुल सेंटेंस व्हाट डज इट बिकम वी वेनरेट इज योर एक्शनेबल माइंड यू व्हेन यू डू ट्रांसलेशन ऑलवेज ट्राई टू पिक अप द एक्शनेबल वर्ड फॉर यू टू स्टार्ट मेकिंग राइटिंग योर सेंटेंस तो इंग्लिश में 
the way you say in gujarati usually gujarati follows the pattern of avastha uh, your your action your verbal act activity is at the last but when you start writing in english the verbal activities almost starts at the beginning beginning of a sentence the verbal activity starts i eat i do that's how you start but when you write say in gujarati hu ave study karva besu ch to karva besu ch is your activity which comes right at the end of the sentence like in avastha so keep one thing in mind when you are doing your translation pick up the actionable word because that will become easy pick up the actionable word then look out for accusative singular value because the actionable word always points something towards accusative singular ha huh? now read the sentence in a last mark translation na pelo ch kava sankal read it ha ji the last sentence the translation yeah. na ha ji after yeah. yazam yeah. yeah so be venere okay. righteous aura mazda so what are you covering one minute one minute what are you covering righteous aura mazda ma which words are you covering so in uh, righteous apre we did this one no asha uh, the third word asha one asha one asha one name very good asha one name so we venerate righteous means verb and my accusative singular righteous gets covered next aura mazda is there the beginning first two words so those are again accusative singular barabar so we venerate righteous aura mazda evu bolayo next and then ratu and ratu mazda is again okay so ratu also in the accusative singular case and then finally such a asha one name basha vahe सेम पैटर्न फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द Uh, sentences in our havan and ujiranke so the way to remember is we venerate righteous then comma i mean dash we venerate righteous dash the aura mazda will change to zarthustra and may change to havani and it may change to savange and various other dts but uh, most of the things will remain same so we venerate righteous remains as it is aura mazda will change to something else and lord of righteousness also will remain so the way easier way to remember ashavanam asheratum yazamide whenever it appears this way ashavanam asheratum yazamide so it is righteous so and so lord of righteousness that's the way to remember from your exam perspective okay move on to the next sentence now so uh zarathush trem ji this is accusative singular of zarathustra proper noun name of prophet literally the word is translated in two ways okay golden star from haji uh, zar which is golden zar. the way we say And zarin or zaveri zar zar always refers to gold gold zarena okay golden so and zar. star meaning And star star is star That's star means a tishriya star vanan star all those are star staram cha devi itna word out hai okay and second meaning will be possessing yellow or aged 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 is true camel is true ushtra ushtra means camel ushtra ushtra mein apne ushtra ka ye so that is the second way of doing the translation but uh, uh, this is these are the literal meanings of zarathustra uh, when it comes to our translation part we'll directly take we worship righteous zarathustra is how we'll take it up okay rest of the words are same ashavanam ashara tum yazamide so what is the translation as i said replace the aura mazda with zarathustra rest of the words remain same perfect yes what is the translation we worship righteous zarathustra comma lord of righteousness perfect okay move to the next third word should i continue ha ji ha ji continue karo uh zarathush Right. Okay. So only the sense has changed. Instead yeah. of accusative, it has become genitive. Genitive. Huh? That's okay. it. That is the same. Same. Then, But in next so, one level, oh no, Asha oh no, which is genitive singular of Asha one, right? Ah ji. Ah ji. One is that is also the same. Ah ji. Right. Rest everything is same. 
so genet you get to off righteous stage as eh ha ah, ah, okay but if prava shim word le le avo then prava Pravashi is one of the three spiritual constituents of a human being. The word Pravashi is derived from Jasmine Merchant Rokshana. Why are you keeping your uh, camera off? Right from Karwan Uch. Rokshana, keep your camera on. Ab, bolo sorry, sorry. Ah, See, there is a lot of disturbance no. going on because uh, when I tell you, you are not following what is required, and we waste time. Keep your cameras on. There's a standard rule I've told you. I don't have to keep repeating. Our she is derived from the root one to believe, Ajay. with prefix fra, and feminine noun suffix to t. I think t. T. Feminine noun suffix is t. 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 One who fosters belief Ajay. in the faith of our master. Ajay. In this sentence, the pravashi of આપણે કર્યું but root word to enclose to surround to guard to to guard karina ave because for rosho faror we said they guard us they are guardian spirits so word is also taken in the sense of to guard something to enclose var is also in the sense of lake jamshed nu jamshed parsha nu ek var varezam kar karine che lake to enclose to surround so there are different meanings for the same root var here it is in the sense of pravarti or it is in the sense of ashofarohar pravashti means ashofaror we are talking of so here it is in the sense in this sentence it talks about pravashi of zarthustra ashofarohar one who fosters belief is second meaning so here we will will restrict it to pravashi or farohar uh, in the case of current sentence ne pachi yazam aide so what is the meaning kava sankal so we venerate the sentences we venerate the pravashi we venerate the genitive singular pravashi thai gayo ne of righteous zarthustra is because genitive singular ma apre i bali ga zarthustra ne aso no so we venerate the pravashi of holy zarthustra okay chalo rakshana marse ne ave excuse me Nahin. sir may i ask a question ha ma bolo ji uh, if you can just scroll up a bit just below the meaning of the word zarathustra ha uh, ji just below the two explanations nee 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 the other way upwards it says ashav nem ha just just below that accusative singular of ashavan ashavan ha uh, ji vowel ho jo hai ni ashavan nem ha uh, ji ha uh, ji yeah 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 typo error cha so it should be at the va or ne na ho yes yes Okay, okay. Thank you. So all this typing the... work has started only about two, three years back by your colleagues who are uh, senior to you. So we had divided, had distributed the work, and uh, possibly they would have made some error while typing it. Okay. Like Agal Chalo next. Uh, who is start starting to read? Roksha Nane. I am Acho Ji. Start with this word. અમેશે વાલુ સ્ટાર્ટ કરજો અમેશે સ્પેન્ટે સ્ટાર્ટ કરી દેવો પ્લીઝ Hello 
वर्ड रूट मेरे टू डाई इफ यू डू गुना फॉर्म वॉट डज इट बिकम अमर थी गया so amesha is immortal that way and uh, same form that uh, the way we did r plus ta asha thayo tem mar plus ta masha thai gyo etle amesha thai gayo same way ra and ta join together becomes from amerita it becomes amesha and this is similar to amar dad as a amar dad amesha span as a dt also yazad chalo spent over what karo next <coughs> सिंगल एंटिटी वी हेव अ बंच ऑफ एंटिटीज फ्रॉम ओरमस टू अमरदार देर आर सेवन अमेशा स्पंस सो दे आर इन फ्लोरल सेंस But why does it say accuse? Is that accusative plural? Yeah, accusative plural. Um, Ameshe, Ameshe. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little. Uh, Which line is it? I am unable to. It's a little irregular. It's a little irregular. You can say. Hello. 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 Because okay. because it's different it's, from it's the normal. It's a little different uh, from the normal uh, terminations that one uses for accusative okay. plural. Slightly okay, different. Thank yeah. You. There is a little okay, deviation thank here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Spenta is what? What is spente? Next spente word. Spente is accusative plural of spenta. Beneficent. The word is derived from the root spen. <laughs> spen to increase. Spen. Yes. Spen. Spen. तुम्हें स्पन करे लो वर्ड ने रूट स्पन यू हैव यू वुड हैव कम अक्रॉस द रूट स्पन ना इन फर्स्ट ईयर रूट स्पन करे लो नेविल नो आई थिंक एक वक्त आवेल हो आई थिंक एक वक्त आवेल हो ओके फाइन नो प्रॉब्लम्स वन रूट स्पन टू इंक्रीज और टू स्पन प्रॉस्पर एंड टर्म इज द नाउन सफिक्स व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बेनिफिसेंट Benefer, what is the meaning of beneficent? Stay muted. Stay. हाँ बोलो. Beneficent. नहीं नहीं. I'm just asking beneficent. No English English word beneficent. No खाली meaning सोच. I'm just asking that for the benefit of the whole class. Beneficent. What do you mean by beneficent? Means, means uh, Lord. Okay, bye. No, 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 no. Just the Google meaning, Gujarati dictionary meaning of word. I am asking. Would anyone know beneficent? Benefit means producing good. Benefited. 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 Benefited.
Good. Ad Adil Dubash will speak. Rest of you, please stay silent. Beneficial means to be to be good. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Doing doing good. Good. Bountiful also. Doing bountiful. Good. Beneficial means your activities by virtue of your activities, you are benefiting somebody else. I know, I know. Put it this way: by virtue of your activities, by virtue of your good deeds and virtues, you are benefiting someone. That is what beneficent means. Chalo, agal chalo. Amesh has spent. Pachi suche next word levo. Continue, Masrin. Please continue. Yes, sir. I think next time I will not admit this. Whoever is not switching on this camera, I am marking them. I will not uh, admit them inside. Huh? Okay, camera stopped. I didn't realize also. Mazrin, Mazrin, please. Ah, please come here, Macho. Donative plural of Asha 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 Vane. Asha Van. It is called Asha Van. Sorry, sorry. Huh? Asha Van. Uh -huh. Righteousness. No, no. That is ness. Righteousness. Kida re? It is only righteous. Righteous. The meaning will change. Righteousness. Kara usse. When it is only asha, it will become righteousness. If it is asha one, it is become. It is. It is an adjective. So asha one means righteous or holy. Okay. Haji. The rest, everything is same. We have done this word earlier, so let's keep the word of the righteous. Asha onam. Yaza maide. So now, what is the meaning? Take the meaning of the sentence. Amesha spente ashonam yezamide. If this is the word given to you, asking you to translate it, how will you translate? You start with yezamide. Correct. We venerate this yezamide. Haven't we come across this word, Mazrin? Yes. Sir. Word. So, read your translation, madam. Yezamide. Yezamide. Read your translation. We venerate Amesha spente. Yezamide. 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 Bracket uh -huh. and souls of the righteous righteous ones. Okay, of the righteous ones is indicated by ashonam as a word in the genitive sense. Okay, and yes, we sir. venerate amesha spenters plural much hai. That is accusative plural amesha spente. So that is we venerate. Now the same same paragraph paragraph one translation is given again at the end of the paragraph. So we'll move to next paragraph paragraph two. Jasmine Merchant, can you please start reading? Aaj. Uh, ideally, uh, you should start reading the grammar. I mean, uh, from the book, I would want you to read Avasta. The way okay. Yasmin Ilavya started reading paragraph one. Please read the paragraph two from Avasta text. Vistas Kunshi, thoru door beso camera camera ti please. Vistas. So, kewa page par chhe sir page eight chhe ke nine chhe gra pila pane to ek. Madam Elavia, please guide her. Page eight. Page eight. Page eight. It's on. Rokshana M. Who is Rokshana M? I have never seen her. Rokshana M. Please keep your camera on. Galaxy M. Fifty one. Who is she? Keep your camera on. Chalo ji, maan chow start karo. Yeah. Aaj. Ashaw naam Wangu Wanguish Surao Spentao. अपानो तेमेम रथवाम यजमाई दे वेरी गुड जगमुश ते माम करेक्ट अशावनो वेरी गुड अशहे रत्वो यस रतुफ्रितिम या वेरी गुड 
मैडम डोरडी यू हैव अ प्रॉब्लम आर यू विद द क्लास किरास डोरडी के के नति इशू छे तमोने सर क्या पेज पर छे कारण के आवाज अच्छा कैटक थत तो तमारो એટલે क्या पेज पर छे टेक्स्टबुक में जी पेज नंबर 1 पर छे हां पेज पेज नंबर 8 ओके okay uh jasmine can you continue now with the okay. grammatical analysis ha ji sure ashava ashava chau nam vachcha line vachcha aviya ke ashava nam ha ji ashava nam is same word which we have done in the previous paragraph so we'll skip it nam ending ayu the way to remember nam ending hoy to jene to plural thai so meaning of the word will be of the righteous thai jase ha Ajay. Okay, we'll we'll look at we'll look at other words. Then we'll know exactly how to fit this word. Look okay. at the next word. Ah, uh, one why 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 why? No, it's not equal. Mango ish, mango ish. Mango ish. Mango ish is another. Mango ish. 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 Which is good. Mango meaning is, good. Okay. Mango is the feminine suffix added to mango. 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 It is an adjective qualifying the pravashi. Okay. So we'll come across pravashi as a word in this sentence. Next word level, please. Sorry, sorry, Cyrus. Sir, again. Yes, madam. Ji. I'm going back to the first word. Is it Ash in the textbook? It is Ashau Nam. Yes. Yeah, somewhere it will be Ashau Nam. Somewhere it will be Ashau Nam. But more or less the, they've been the same thing genitive plural okay somewhere but here it is, is ashawanam in our scriptures somewhere it is ashawanam but uh, they there are there are a lot the... of words uh, which will take a little deviation okay like frustuya so, is a word che frustuya humatoi bhascha in kathik form it will be written as ferastuya so you will okay. have a little deviation but more or so less it is the same we... thing So which do we go by? Because in the textbook it's Ashau Nam, and here. Oh, to Ashau Nam, what's that? Here we are taking is Ashau Nam. In the in your notes, notes ma Ashau Nam. Somewhere it will be Ashau Nam or say Ashau Nam or say, but largely speaking, it will be Ashau Nam. Okay, here Ashau Nam. No, Ashau Nam, Ashau Nam, Ashau Nam. Kari ne chhe, ha? Okay. ने बीजु आई एम ना प्रे की दु वंग शौनम वंगुइश सो व्हाई इज दैट वर्ड ऑफ मिडिल वर नोट्स मा आई एम सीइंग ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स हु आर अ लिटिल हायर देन यू दे हैव द वंस हु हैव टाइप्ड दिस नोट्स सो यस दैट कुड बी मिस्टेक्स इफ वी वांट टू रिफाइन आई विल नीड सम वॉलंटियर्स आई विल गिव यू द वर्ड फाइल एंड वी कैन डू द चेंजेस आल्सो But we we take it as that first word, ne? Right? Initial. Haji, 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 Haji. Very good. Okay, thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Very. Haji, say it. Haji, say it. Wangu ish. So accusative plural ka ita sir. Accusative plural of wangu is wanga wo. Abo aave abo. So ish ka ita. Wangu ish hai. Ish hai. So bolay. Shaw ending thai accusative plural. Chhoda phone karto. Kya karna? It is written as wangu na thi wang. It is wangu i kare lo chhe. In the feminine sense. रीडिंग नीडिंग You are muted, madam. You are muted. I don't think it was me. I think the other Jasmine. Jasmine Merchant, yeah, she is reading. She is reading, yeah. Jasmine, Jasmine. excuse me. Surau, Surau, accusative plural of Sura, Aji. which is brave, feminine yeah. from Sura. Sura, the way we say Shurvir, Shurvir, the way we know as a word, brave, braver in me, Shurvir. So that is same as Sura. Okay, Sura. next word, spent out. spend spent tau accusative plural of spent ta which is beneficial or is the noun suffix added to spend spend ta spend ta okay. spent tau 
it is derived from the root from root spun 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 the same hai. word we came across na amesha spente ma we come across we came across the word amesha spente so root is same root spun to increase to increase to prosper the is the yeah. noun suffix yeah so that is why the same meaning of the word spenta is beneficent you are doing some activity Achy. to benefit others pachi next word le pravashayo pravashayo show pravashayo che pravashayo accusative plural of pravashi very good feminine that is guardian spirit yeah pravashi is one of the three spiritual constituents of a human being the word uh, the word vashi is vashi is derived from the root var that is to believe i think we have done this word earlier pravashayo word abhi gayo ne zartushraya stone of pravashim yazamaide so word is the same word in the different sense i think pravashi you had uh, uh, this also na pravashi no uh, declension pravashish pravashayo pravashin pravashayo pravashi pravashi bish have you done declension of pravashi no dai ji no no it was there maybe it is not directly printed in the book but as a form of exercise pravashi as a yes. word was given for your yes. self self yes. study self exercise pravashi it is there it is there koi to kayo sherin someone has done it anyways so pravashi is the same ashauna mangoi sura spenta of pravashayo and yajamaide we have done move to the next word so can i ask a question please Anita Dawar Anita Dawar has been yes. raising her hand please ask kon puche Anita no koi question che pehla Anita ne puchwa devo please yes sir it i was asking vange ush uh, sorry vanguish is Aji. instrumental plural isn't it sir no because no because no. we had the example of pasu which was pasu bish so vangu ish also wouldn't that be instrumental plural how is it accusative plural because See many a times it so happens that most of the words in the sentence they take the same case as the word so that it gives us same pattern. So here all these words are kind of adjectives related to pravashi. If you look at the meaning uh, later on, each of the words they will fall. So another trick to remember is, largely speaking, some of the words they will take the same form as the words preceding or succeeding because there is a sense given to the. words here it, it all these are directed towards pravashi the qualities of pravashi and uh, what is your other question you ask so vanguish ha yeah is it a plural lakuti ha yeah i would have thought it was instrumental plural because when we did pasu it was pasu bish that ish ending so the bish abet na bish tight it is not ish everywhere bish abena then it is instrumental plural b i s h is the termination for instrumental plural because we haven't done the declension of vangu sir so i would have done then, if it was accusative i would have made it vanga vo accusative plural it is e ending che vangu e nu apre kariye ch le vangu ish che had it been instrumental plural to b i s h bish thavu joye koi ma pan that's the ending so look uh, stay with what is written aswato ne manakhya cha be word baki che do this two words aswato aswato genitive singular of astwa 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 actually astwa a is missing it is astwa astwa means material or physical physical word the word is derived from ast bone or matter ast means bone or matter and what is adjective fix no ast ast the way to remember is something like astodan have you come across a word called astodan no sir astodan does anyone know anything about astodan Blessing. Cyrus is Astodan. Arsagne. Sorry. King Cyrus is Astodan. That means burial place. 
ah okay the bones of the kings which were kept in the ancient times after the uh, in a as, separate as place basically the... means bone or metal astodan is the yeah. place where uh, the body is consigned to there is also a place called astodan where all the bones gather okay so it is astvato is something related to material material or physical that is how we astvato is material here we are talking in the sense of material world and the next word such as manakhyacha manakhyacha is talking in the sense of spiritual world we are so we are talking of the two two worlds material world and spiritual world we belong to which world material material world material world astvato okay ji manakhyacha macho please manakhyacha genitive singular of manna spirit that is spiritual world and oh asa ya yeah, is the gatik genitive singular form yes yes so root man to think man ave and uh, it is man in the sense of mano ghana mino mino it about the spiritual world must whenever we talk we talk of this word as mano and what is cha mana kya cha no chapan che ne what is cha what does it indicate and it's a conjunction and. very good and a and b and because we are referring to two worlds spiritual and material to aswato manakhya cha karine cha that is why we use the cha over here zahan why is your camera off zahan jaude wala oh sorry sir chalo ji so now read the the sentence ashauna mangoish surav spentau prabashayo yazamide you would have come across this word several times very important word ashauna mangoish you will come across this in various prayers especially related to prabashis satum no kardo che prab farokshi che or any of the afghan prayers everywhere you find this sentence so where do we start yazamide yazamide is the actionable words that's how we'll begin your sentence we venerate and what are we talking about good brave beneficent pravashis so we are talking about vanguish good surav as brave spenta as beneficent and pravashi pravashayo okay of the holy ones is ashaunam genitive case ma ayo ashaunam then followed by asvato and manakhyacha which are genitive singular of the material world and of the spiritual world so we venerate or we worship the pravashis of these two worlds can someone else volunteer till we stop who can volunteer one read kar se agal grammatical marks so koi zahan tame machi lewo zahan start reading please upon ot mm yes sir as apno tame accusative singular of uh, apno tema apno tema apno tema apno tema Uh, which means Ajee. highest uh, or uppermost uh, from the root uh, no so it's uh, tema is the termination of the superlative degree added to uh, upper na high means high so ha- had it not been tema i mean had it been comparative degree to so out the word could have become ishta tara tara in the full word full word tara upper no tara Very good. Upon order. Upon order. Mm. Next word, Ratwam. Uh, Ratwam, which is genitive plural of uh, Ratu, means Lord or Master. Okay. Next, Yazami. We have done. Take the next yeah. word. Take the next word. Yazat Nam. No. 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 Yaz- no. 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 Take this word. Yash. Yaeta. Yaitosh. 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 Okay. Accusative singular of uh, yetush, uh, yetush tema, tema which means most energetic, most active. Yeah. Tema is the termination of superlative degree of adjective added to uh, yae. Yetush. So, yetush. Yetush. The word yeah. yetush is perfect participle parasmay pada from the root uh, yat yat Correct. to strive to make. an effort and uh, yat is the reduplicate form of yat the root yat yeah, how how yat becomes reduplicate state from 
yayat over a period of time becomes yayat yat to yayat yayat thai reduplicated form most of the words can get reduplicated uh, most of the roots we can reduplicate them so the way to do an analysis of a word is go from this side go from the leftmost side and keep coming to, up to the root that is how you have to do the analysis and uh, one more thing i love to point out certain things while writing an avastan word a complete avastan word has to have a dot full stop ha huh? a complete avastan mm. word will have will require a full stop at the end which which means at the left hand side in the to stem mm after ma you should have a full stop while writing your attempting your answer paper whenever there is a root you have to use the root sign followed by a dash and then you have to write the particular root that is how you have to write whenever we are writing a suffix whenever we are writing a suffix you have to keep a dash before matlab on the right hand side you have to keep a dash it is to indicate that there is a word before this or after this so dash will indicate that there is a word going to be or some suffix some letters before so and so word okay that's how you have to write so root yaar see here now what have we come across we have come across the adjective superlative degree tara tema પછી ઉશ આયો ઉશ ઇઝ વોટ પરફેક્ટ પાર્ટિસિપલ તો વંગ ને ઉશ કરીને ઉઠ આઈ ટોલ્ડ યુ ટુ રિમેમ્બર ટુ પાર્ટિસિપલ્સ વંગ ને ઉશ તો ઉશ ઇઝ અ પરફેક્ટ પાર્ટિસિપલ યુ વિલ કમ અક્રોસ ધીસ ફોર્મેશન ઇન મોસ્ટ ઓફ ધ વર્ડ્સ નાઉ નેક્સ્ટ કપલ ઓફ વર્ડ્સ યુ વિલ હેવ ધીસ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ ફોર્મેશન સો ઉશ ઇઝ પરફેક્ટ પાર્ટિસિપલ ફ્રોમ રૂટ યટ ટુ સ્ટ્રાઈવ ટુ મેક એન એફર્ટ એન્ડ યટ ઇઝ યટ ઓર યટ ઇઝ રીડુપ્લિકેટેડ ફોર્મ સો મોસ્ટ energetic is the name of the i mean in the meaning of the word yet to stay more most active or most energetic take the next word Uh, proper noun name of the group of spiritual beings literally the word means worthy of veneration it is derived from the root yaz to venerate okay the way we say yazad apne yazad karine boliye in the parsi terms we say yazad here it is called yazata huh? name of a group of divine beings is called yazata and the root becomes re- remains the same yaz to venerate yazata naam is genitive plural so of the yazatas meaning of the word will become of the yazatas or worthy of veneration theta se hanganush teme hanganush teme karo hanganush teme is accusative singular of hanganush teme ma teme most deserving hanganush teme khali aya jara wrong che teme ma nahi it has to be only teme hanganush teme thase ha hanganush teme correct here most deserving ha ji teme is the superlative degree termination added to hanganush which is again perfect uh, which is participle the perfect participle but as part of from the root uh, han to deserve. to deserve root root han will undergo reduplication so han will become hangan han and han two times han 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 becomes hangan thai jase pachi ush avse ne pachi tema avse so most deserving hanganush teme asha he what we have done genitive singular rat form we have done genitive plural rat form abhi gyo lot take the word ivina saste mem ivina saste mem uh, which is accusative singular of ivina saste ma uh, mm-hmm. uh, which means most uh, helping tema is again the superlative degree termination added to ivina sast ivina sast it is the present participle parasmi pada from the present participle parasmi pada is at or ant नहीं तो ना ने आना दिस इज अट ओवर हियर इन दिस सेंस इट इज अट लीधेलू हाँ प्रेजेंट पार्टिसिपल अट इज एडेड रूट क्यू नस रूट नस टू रीच विथ प्रीफिक्स आईवी आईवी मीन्स अराउंड आईवी मीन्स अराउंड आईबी गैरिया आईपी आईटी आईरी आर दर्स टू इंडिकेट इन ऑन अराउंड आईवी 
so most reachable we are talking of most reachable most helping i mean a saste mam and take the next word jagmush te mam jagmush te mam accusative singular of uh, jagmush, jagmush te mam te mam na te mam ha ji feminine uh, feminine te you most helping most helping uh, te mam is a superlative degree of termination added to uh, jagmush, jagmush. is both uh, perfect participle paraspare verb from the root uh, gum, tam gum. to go gum, gum sorry gum the reduplicated and form of gum is jagam ga and ja are used interchangeably so it is jagam same way we have jasa me avange masda root jam to come jasa it's same thing root gum to come to root gum to reach they were cham so jagmush te mam So more or less, this this meaning are the same. Most helping, most reachable for help. Tiba bada words che. They are taking the same form also grammatically. The superlative degree added to participle. The participle uh, uh, the root root there is a basic root which is reduplicated onto that participle is added and onto that superlative degree is added. So pick up these words. Ne taper pachu. Please put in more attention to these words. छेली This this last ma je instead of art it is ast basically yeah available chai but oh, this is okay. what it is iv plus root nas plus art is the participle present participle oh. termination okay okay thank you hmm? okay, take the words ashono ashera to and then we'll stop ashono is same genitive singular of same word earlier we have done ashahe also we have done genitive singular of asha ratwo is ratu master nu che take the word ratu free team take the word ratu free team ratu pratham is accusative singular of uh, ratu prati uh, which means seasonal players timely players player player it is a compound word uh, ratu means timely seasonal and priti uh, priti uh, means prayer derived from the root free to pray root free to pray root free, free to love karelo correct root free to bless pan thai te par thi apre afrin ami boli ech afrin or we have the words who fresh who are fresh or uh, or in sanskrit you changes to pre to priyanka che priya che te bada words so pre and free bada same che root free to love par thi che bada words okay afrin nami apre boli ech afrin boli ech All this, this take, take the same root, root free. Okay, now take this. Yesterday, last ma ayu, then we begin with we venerate yesterday. We read uh, the, the highest. Words? Highest of the lords. It like ayu abse. If you recall, upon our time, highest is upon our time, na. So highest of the lords is Ratwam. Highest of the lords upon our time, Ratwam yesterday. That is how we started. But just over to yetush time. So we venerate highest of the lords, comma Yetushtima is most energetic. Root Y to strive to be be more active. That is most energetic. Yetushtima M के साथ है यज्जता नाम of the यज्जतस. So most energetic of the यज्जतस. We worship most energetic of the यज्जतस is Yetushtima M यज्जता नाम. But क्या सोचे हंगनुष्टेमे. तो हंगनुष्टेमे is most worthy. हंगनुष्टेमे जगमुष्टेमाम 
ને પછી તે રટુ ફ્રીતી વર્ડ અહીંયા આવેલો છે રટુ મોસ્ટ હેલ્પિંગ રટુ ફ્રીતી આઈ થિંક યુ ડુ કીપ કીપ વન વન વર્ડ એટ અ ટાઈમ ને પછી તે યુ ડુ એન એનાલિસિસ ઓફ ધ વર્ડ એન્ડ કીપ ધેમ ધેટ્સ હાઉ વિલ યુ વિલ ગેટ ધ મીનિંગ ઓફ ધ ફૂલ સેન્ટેન્સ મોસ્ટ એનર્જેટિક મોસ્ટ વર્ધી આઈ બટ ધ પિક અપ ધ કી વર્ડ્સ યેટ ટુ સ્ટેમ એમ યઝતનામ હંગનુ સ્ટેમ એમ જગમુ સ્ટેમ આમ the words all these words will get covered over here sorry cyrus sir is bolo ji bolo is is ratu friti a proper noun yeah ratu friti is a proper noun is it a deity is it a like is, a uh, ratu friti is a timely prayer seasonal prayer tene ratu friti apre kayo okay here timely prayer ઓનલી do an analysis because uh, there are a lot of jumble words in this final paragraph that we did so homework for you could be do an analysis and make sure that each of the words get covered over here that is the only homework i can think of because here so it is easy to, to write every... sorry ma'am sorry to interrupt sir sorry to interrupt itna apna jam tumhe sikhavyu tum ek ek word ટ્રાન્સલેશન મીન્સ when a paragraph is given when a, assuming this paragraph appears in the a this is what you have to write direct translation and then if uh, there could be a few underlined words few underlined words jagmush tema asha hai yazamai de so only those underlined words you have to there is a choice given to you pick up some of these words and do an analysis only of those words you need not have to do analysis of every word of this uh, whole text matlab in terms of exam yes you you have to know whether it is a noun or a verb and you have to you must know for yourself but from exam perspective it will be just a pick and choose the easier words that you know of that is what you have to write for grammatical analysis we'll meet next saturday again and we'll continue uh those who have missed out i think some What of them have missed out so maybe we'll repeat a few things for them for the benefit of those who have missed out Okay, so next time we can meet again thank you thank you at this thank time every saturday same time same time ha ji and your wednesday evening batch are you doing that on wednesday saturday? i will not do with you i may possibly do thursday with you occasionally mm-hmm. wednesday i reserved for class 